Today, let us revise division and its facts. We know that division is actually repeated subtraction. Let us understand it with an example of 35 divided by 5. Look at this. Here, 5 is subtracted repeatedly 7 times from the number 35 to get the remainder as 0. This process of repeated subtraction is called division. We also know that this division can be done like this. Now, let us recall the terms of division. Here, the number 35 is the dividend, the number to be divided. Number 5 is the divisor, the number that divides the dividend. Number 7 is the quotient, the answer that we get on dividing the numbers. And number 0 is the remainder, the number that remains after dividing. The remainder is always smaller than the divisor. Did you notice that the quotient is equal to the number of times we subtracted? Kids, remember, if the remainder is zero, then 1. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient. 2. Divisor is equal to dividend divided by the quotient. 3. Quotient is equal to dividend divided by the divisor. Now, let us look at the division facts or we can say division properties too. 1. 0 divided by any number except 0 gives 0 as the quotient. For example, 0 divided by 85 is equal to 0. Remember, a number cannot be divided by 0. 2. Any number divided by 1 gives the number itself as its quotient. For example, 18 divided by 1 is equal to 18. 3. Any number divided by itself gives 1 as its quotient. For example, 26 divided by 26 is equal to 1. Now, let us revise the relationship between two operations, multiplication and division. They are very closely related. Look at the numbers 5 and 3. To get the product, we multiply the numbers 5 and 3, which is equal to 15. Now, let us look at it in another way. Divide 15 by factor 3 to find the quotient, which is equal to 5. Now, divide 15 by factor 5 to find the quotient, which is equal to 3. This tells us an interesting fact. Division is the inverse of multiplication. That is, when we divide the product with one of its factors, the quotient that we get is the other factor. I am sure 
you must have enjoyed revising division and its facts.